New details tonight at 11. An Atlanta woman describing how she was the victim of a violent and traumatic assault by three employees at a fast food restaurant, all after she told them they'd gotten her order wrong. So her accusations are now in a lawsuit against all three of them and against the owners of the Popeye's restaurant franchise, where she says she was attacked. Now, we're working to get a comment from those owners, but so far, no response. Here's John Sherrick. She says she is still recovering. Denitra Dawson says in September of last year, three Popeye's restaurant employees jumped her while she was in her car in the drive through on Cleveland Avenue in southwest Atlanta and did this to her and beat and punched her after she tried to get them to correct her order. Why me? I didn't even think I was going to make it back to my kids. Atlanta police arrived and arrested the three employees, the mother who was the manager and her daughter and niece, and charged them initially with misdemeanors, according to the lawsuit that Dawson's attorneys just filed in Fulton County. The employees were angry with Dawson because Dawson was just sitting in her car at the window trying to correct the food order. Dawson was slowing down the drive through line. And the attorneys say the employees are penalized if they don't keep the drive through line moving fast. Attorney Mauli Davis. They decided they were going to fix that problem by attacking Ms. Dawson and getting her to move her, forcing her to move her car. And Dawson says the only reason they stopped beating her and got out of her car was because she was able to pull her gun on them. Dawson's attorneys say that because the manager, Tanister Evans, has a record of violent crimes, Popeye should have known before they hired her that she could be a threat to customers. Dawson is suing all three employees, as well as the Atlanta-based corporation that owns that Popeye's. No response yet from the company, and no confirmation that there could be security camera video of the incident. And we're working to try to reach the employees for comment. I just pray that this, what happened to me, don't happen to no one else. The lawsuit is demanding that Dawson receive $10,000 reimbursement for medical bills, as well as additional money as determined by a jury. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.